What's going on YouTube? It's just back with another video. Today's video is going to be on Make Visuals Great Again or MVGA. What MVGA is, it is a graphics and visual enhancement mod for Grand Theft Auto 5. This mod will add more of a realistic look and feel to your game. Granted, Grand Theft Auto 5 graphics are already tremendously good. This mod will enhance those and make them look a hundred times better. There's other mods out there like it, such as Redux, Natural Vision Remastered, um, Radiance V, and others. All those mods are great mods. MVGA is a great mod. It all comes down to personal preference. They all have their own pros and cons to each of their own. Um, I guess all the mods, I've tried all the mods, all the mods, all the mods are tremendous. They look fantastic. It really just depends on personal preference. It depends on how well your system can handle it and other different variables. But as far as MVGA goes, it is relatively easy to install. You only need like one program to install it. It's relatively simple. So we're going to get right into it. First thing first, what you want to do is you want to go to openiv.com. I'm going to leave the links in the description below. That way it's easy for you guys to actually just click it and just go to it instead of having to Google everything. Um, once you're there, you want to go ahead and click this green button here that says download now. Once you download it, you're going to go ahead and set it up. And you can go ahead and leave it alone after you set it up. You want to go back into your web browser. And you want to go to, you want to search MVGA on your search bar. You want to go to the AUSGamer.net. You will see the mod MVGA is right here. Granted, I didn't create this, but you do have to actually make an account to actually download the file. You're going to see in this top right corner, I'm signed in obviously, but you're going to see a sign up button. You want to go ahead and sign up. That way you can actually be able to download the mod because if you don't sign up you won't be able to see this button right here so once you actually signed up and created an account you want to go and log in you want to go and click download this file it's going to take a few minutes to download the mod um, depending on your internet speed but once it's done you want to go ahead and open it up you're going to see a file like this you're going to click that open it up you're going to see optionals manual installation automatic installation and readme optionals is just that it's optionals it's option old meaning that you don't have to use it for the mod to work. It just enhances the mod even more. Um, manual installation basically is just that manual. So you basically take these files in here and manually put them into your Grand Photo 5 uh, directory. Today we're going to focus on automatic installation. So you're going to go in the automatic installation folder. You want to go click extract to. You want to extract this OIV file to your desktop or wherever you choose. After that's closed, you want to go ahead now and open up OpenIV. It's going to be your first time opening up OpenIV. You're going to see it's going to prompt you to actually find your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So most people's Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is either in Steam. So it's going to be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. Or if you use the Rockstar version, it's going to be Rockstar Games. Or Programs, Files, Rockstar Games, GTA 5 depending on where you have your game installed. Once you figure that out, you're going to go ahead and um, go to the GTA 5 tab, of course, and you're going to click Windows. This may take a while right here for you guys to set up if it's your first time running OpenIV. Once it's open, you want to go to Tools. You want to go to Package Installer. You want to locate that OIV file that make visuals ready again. I told you to extract to your desktop or wherever you choose. So wherever you find that file, you want to go ahead and open that up. With the package installer, you're going to see a little box come up like this. It's going to tell you who created it, um, some information about the mod, what it does. You're going to go ahead and click install. Right here, you're going to see mods folder and game folder. I made a video a while back. I'll leave the video or the video in the description, or I'll try to put it into the video somewhere where you can click it. But make a mods folder. I say this because always, 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 always make backups. Do not ever, ever alter your game file without making a backup or a mods folder. This will save you a big headache in the very end. I say this from experience. If you really want to spend your Saturday night or Friday night re-downloading 65 gigs or however much it is of Grand Theft Auto 5 because you messed up a file, you can, you're more than welcome to do it. But I've learned from my mistakes in the past. The mods folder is relatively simple to make. It's very easy. It is a lifesaver. It is a headache saver. So likewise, we're going to install it into the mods folder. 
once you're in the mods folder um, you're gonna confirm all this stuff you're just gonna click this box right here it says install confirm this right here may take a little bit depending on your computer speed and depending on how fast your computer is running today me it's rather simple it's rather quick and simple I should say and I'm already installed you guys should be installed too um, basically there you have it you guys installed make visuals great again for a grandma photo 5 as you can see we are in the game now everything is looking nice clean and realistic hopefully everything installed correctly on your guys' end if not go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you if you want to see more content like this in the future go ahead and like comment and subscribe that's it for me today have a great day